if you are going to do anything with your SEO campaign, it is to get this step right. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now today's video is all about keyword research. All right now, so many of you get this wrong. I've seen full-fledged SEO companies and SEO experts get this step wrong. And let me tell you something, if you're gonna get anything right, get this step right. Get your keyword research right. Because ultimately, if you don't, if you don't get this step right, whether you are absolutely kick-ass at SEO and producing content, if you haven't nailed the keyword research and you're not going after the right keywords, trust me, it's a waste of time. You will be wasting all of your time, money, and effort if you don't get this step right. So that's what we're here to do today. We're here to do proper keyword research that works. Now, before we dive into this, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification too, you'll be notified of any future releases and smash that like button. I really, really appreciate that. Okay, so this video is going to be broken down into different steps in order for us to efficiently and effectively do keyword research for our business. We're gonna be you we're gonna be using our brains and just brainstorming potential keyword ideas just off the cuff. We're gonna be using Google Intuitive Search Console and we're also gonna be looking at our competitors to see what they're ranking for. Because ultimately, I'm a huge fan of reverse engineering the success of those that have invested time, money, and effort into their SEO campaigns. And we can just very easily take that, be inspired, and build up from there. And once we have a list of potential keywords that we want to be ranking for, we're then going to actually decide whether they are the right keywords for us. So we're going to be assessing each and every one, checking the data, checking the search difficulty, checking the search volume, and just making sure that it's gonna be a viable keyword for us before we actually plow time and money into trying to rank for that keyword. Okay, without further ado, let's jump onto the machine and I'm gonna talk you through this step by step. Let's go. Okay. So the first thing I recommend you do in order to start generating keywords is actually to brainstorm, okay? You can do this on a pen and paper, or as you can see on screen, we can actually use a notepad, text editor, anything that you like, anything that allows you to type, okay? And then you simply have to start typing keywords that you think people are going to search. So I'm gonna base this off my full service digital marketing agency and just pull some keywords out just to show you what this might look like. So we offer a web design. So I'd imagine people would search for web designer. Um, we offer SEO, so have SEO or SEO agency, SEO company. You could have search engine optimization agency, SEO agency near me. You could have website design near me. You could have, okay, so there's a lot of, a lot of potential terms that we could be using here just for two individual services. Okay, so we've just covered two different services there and you can already see how this list can start building up. If you have multiple services within your business, this list will start building pretty quickly. Now, just on top of that, if you wanna start adding in locations, so I am based in Exeter. Okay, so what you would do is take your keywords that you've already got perhaps and just add the modifier of location. So we could have web designer, Exeter, we could have SEO agency, Exeter, SEO, web developer, Exeter, for example. You can even then branch out into other towns and cities. So a local town to us would be Torquay. That is a local town that we actually rank for. We could have SEO Torquay. Okay, so hopefully you can see how this list is building up. Now there's honestly no holds barred here. Like you, you just try and be as creative and inventive as you can with things that you think people are going to search when they are looking for your business. Once you've got to the point where you've exhausted brainstorming, okay, we can actually take this a step further and we can get some more inspiration from Google intuitive search. Okay, if you're not sure what that is, I'll just show you. So if we just go to google.com. Okay, so this is Google's intuitive search and in here you can search web design, for example, and it's gonna give us some suggestions. All right, so we've got web design Exeter. So Exeter is a city that I'm in. We've got web design course, web designer salary, web designers near me. So web designers near me, let's just grab that one. And as you see, I've got this in an incognito window. And the reason for that is because I don't want it to show or I don't want it to be uh, inspired by any of my search history. I just want this completely raw. So we'd have web designers near me, web designer, uh, anything else? 
uh, we've got Web Designer London. So if we wanted to reach out to the London area, we could include that keyword. Uh, what else have we got? We've got SEO. So SEO London, SEO Meaning, SEO Agency. So let's go SEO Agency. Then we've got a bunch of uh, you know cities that we could be looking within. So Bristol is, is a city that's relatively close to us. So if you wanted to compete for that keyword, we could we could add that to our list. So all SEO, all SEO agency in Bristol. Uh, don't really see that as being relevant. So what else have we got? We've got social media marketing agency. So we could take that, we could add that to the list. What else have we got? We've got London, we've got UK, Birmingham, social media marketing agency for small business. Great, I like that. So we could add that to the list. What else have we got? Facebook ads, manager. We could take that. And we could add our modifier of Exeter on that, for example. So you can see that there's lots of options here. Google intuitive search is amazing because it, it's telling you what people are searching for. And that's what you wanna be looking for. You wanna understand what people are searching for. And remember, we are building out this list so we can then start refining it once we start collecting the data and, and assessing how competitive these keywords really are. All right, the next thing that we can actually do is look at our competitors, all right? And this is, this is the thing that I love doing because you can fast track your success, okay? You know that they've invested time already in ranking for these keywords and doing keyword research of their own. So you can actually have a look at what they are ranking for, what keywords are they ranking for, and you can then decide whether you want to take those to rank for yourselves. All right, so let's have a look at that. Okay, so so in order to do this, we have to use a tool. I like Ubersuggest, this is the tool that I use. If you want to use the likes of Ahrefs or you wanna use SEMrush, that's totally up to you. I like Ubersuggest because it's way more affordable uh, and it does, it does a very good job. Um, but it's totally up to you what tool you use, but you will need a tool not only to do the keyword research and spy on your competitors, but you're actually going to need this tool in order, in order to start narrowing down your list and making sure that the keywords are viable to include in your SEO strategy. All right, so what we would do here is we're in Ubersuggest, so we need to add the domain of one of our competitors. So let's look at our keyword research list and say, let's use SEO agency Bristol, for example. Let's say we wanted to definitely explore the area of Bristol what we would do is just Google search this, okay? And we can just look at who are in the top three positions. Okay, so top three is what you typically aim for when you are ranking for a keyword. And so SEO agency in Bristol, Barn, let's have a look at that. Okay, so nice site. So this looks as if they are maybe got more than one location. Anyway, that's not important. We're just gonna grab the URL and we are gonna place it in here. And we're just gonna hit search. Cool, so this is only giving us 71 organic keywords. Okay, but this is the main thing that we're looking for here. We're gonna click this, and you can see here that we have a bunch of keywords that this company is ranking for. So if there's anything in here that we like the look of, and we wanna start competing on, or potentially competing on, we can add these to our lists. All right, so we've got agencies and best SEO agency in UK. Okay, so I quite like that. So we could add that to our list. What else have we got? Best SEO company near me. We could, yep, we could absolutely add that. Uh, what else have we got? Marketing consultants, Bristol. We could add that. Okay, we could even take these keywords that we're learning from our competitors, albeit that this is for a specific location in Bristol. We could take these and we could add other location modifiers to them. So we could have Exeter, for example. We could take that one. We could best SEO agency in Exeter, okay? As I said, there's there's honestly no holds barred here. You, your, your goal is to try and build this list up as best as you possibly can. And there's no reason why you can't end up with 50 to 100 keywords to then take to your tool and start narrowing them down. All right, so hopefully that's making sense. Hopefully you understand that there, there honestly is a ton of opportunity here. All right, so let's just have a look at another competitor quickly, just to show you. So what we've got, Cool Bison, nice. 
So it's going to take this. Cool. So in comparison, you can see that this one is ranking for way more keywords, which is interesting. So let's have a look at some of these. So we've got SEO services, Bristol. Nice. I like that. SEO services, Bristol. SEO company, Bristol. SEO packages, prices. So I like that too. SEO packages, prices, UK, I think that was. Yeah, we could have the same thing with our location modifier. So we could have Exeter, we could have Bristol. Okay, two location modifiers. So guys, I'm doing this super, super quickly because I don't want to spend too much time on this. Uh, what have we got? Cardiff SEO. So that's another city that they are reaching out to. Cheap SEO services, UK. Cheap SEO services, UK. Again, we can add services Exeter, for example. Okay, so hopefully you've got this now. That's three different ways that you can actually build up your initial keyword list or your 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 list of ideas that you think that people are going to be searching for. Now with the first step, the brainstorming, there is a bit of uncertainty there as to whether the keywords will actually be searched or not. And that's why we have to narrow that list further down, but it definitely doesn't hurt to take that step. And the next two steps using search, using intuitive search and the competitor analysis, like we can feel a lot more confident that that is what people are searching for. But we will still need to take these keywords and find out how competitive they really are. So let's go and do that now. All right, cool. So we, we're back at Uber Suggest and this time we're at the keyword overview. All right, and what I'm also going to do is open up a spreadsheet. Cool, so I've got my spreadsheet and what I'm gonna put here is keyword uh, volume and search difficulty. Let's put those in bold. Cool, all right, so let's start doing this. What we wanna do is grab our keyword, put in the keywords. Cool, so Web Designer has a search volume of 18,100, okay? That's a huge volume. And the reason for that is because the term is so short tail, it's so vague, right? There's there's no sort of specificity there, um, which means that the longer tail keywords and in the location modifiers, that's definitely gonna make this keyword way more specific, so the search volume will be lower. But let's make a note of this anyway, so 18,100, and the search difficulty, let's close that, is 66, so that's, that's pretty high, guys. So it, it's high, but I'd say it's probably relative to the search volume. So that was web designer. All right, so if you're just getting started and you have a keyword that's that high volume and that, in that high search difficulty, probably wouldn't look to rank for that one. So I'd probably rule this out at this stage, okay? But that's why we do this, so we know. Next one, web designers near me. Let's have a look at that. Web design near me. Great, search volume of 720, SEO keyword difficulty of 31. All right, so that's awesome. What I would do is I would probably look to rank and compete on that one. What else have we got? Let's have a look at, so I'm just gonna quickly blast, I'm not gonna go through all of these, I'm just gonna blast through. Let's use a modifier, so SEO talkie. Okay, search volume of 50, search difficulty of 26. It flags it as easy. Okay, so this is what we call a low hanging fruit, all right? definitely would not be put off by a search volume of 50 because it, this SEO difficulty is that easy that you could start ranking for this really quickly with very minimal effort. And that's like 50 extra potential searches that you're gonna be getting to your website. Okay, so don't snub these. These are actually great, like these are nuggets. So let's add that one in there, 50, and what was it, 26? Great, so I mean, I, I, would, definitely, I would definitely wanna be ranking for that one. Social media marketing agency for small business. Let's have a look at that one. So that's a real long tail keyword. Great. So again, search volume 50, SEO difficult 32. I'd probably want to rank for that one actually. So I might actually add that to my keyword SEO strategy. So 50, cool. Let's do a couple more. Best SEO agency in UK. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. 170 search difficulty 45. Okay, so the volume's great. I mean, it's, I definitely would love a search volume of 170 extra potential visitors to my site, but you have to take into account the SEO difficulty is almost reaching the halfway point. So this score is out of 100. So if you're reaching a half, halfway point, it's gonna be a bit more competitive for you. And so you'd have to weigh up as to how badly you want to be searching for this keyword and how much time and effort you wanna invest in order to start ranking for this keyword. Me personally, if I was just getting started, 
I'd probably leave this one because the volume isn't high enough for me to warrant the time and expense that is required. But let's write this down anyway. So that was best SEO agency in the UK. And that was 170 and I think 45. So I probably wouldn't want to do that one. Um, but anyway, this is the process that we would typically take with each one of our clients. Okay, so we can very quickly start filtering down this list. So again, 110, 24, that's an excellent one. So I definitely want to start ranking for that one. What have we got so far? We've got this one that's attractive. That one potentially not because the search difficulty is quite high. That one, attractive, so I'd bold that. This one, very good. I would want to uh, go for that one as well. That one, potentially not. So there you go. You can already see that the list of keywords is being refined and filtered down based on the search volume versus the search difficulty. It's not always viable to go after high search terms if the difficulty is high, or even definitely low search terms if the difficulty is high. What you want is high search volume, low difficulty. If you can find that, then it's an absolute gold mine, okay? But also, don't forget that if there is a keyword with a very low search volume and a very low keyword difficulty, that again is a gold mine because whether it is an extra 10 visits to your site, if you can rank for that individual keyword, that's an extra 10 visits to your site, okay? You can get five, 10, 15 of those, that's an extra 50 to 100 to 150 visits from one single keyword. Okay, so that's how we do this in our agency. Now guys, hopefully you found that really valuable, All right? You heard me at the beginning, you need to make sure you get this step right. If you are going to do anything with your SEO campaign, it is to get this step right. Get your keywords in check, make sure that you are ranking for things that are actually going to return you traffic. Okay, that is what you are aiming for. Now I've shared with you the process that we take within the agency for each one of our clients to generate keywords and do our keyword research. Hopefully you can now take this and do this for your own business or even your own clients. And hopefully you, you guys have the confidence now to be able to take this, do it for your own business and start ranking on Google or even better, offer this to your clients. Do keyword research for your clients or use it to improve your existing SEO strategy that you already offer to your customers. So there you go. Please remember to hit subscribe, hit the bell notification too, and you'll be notified of any future releases. And if you found this valuable, please do give it a thumbs up. I'd really, really appreciate it. There is an end screen coming up as well very shortly, which has more valuable content for you. So make sure you go and check those out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.